Hello everybody, Ben Dittmar here again. Today is June 28th, 2013. I'm going to do a short video here on adjusting the carburetor on this 1987 15 horse Evinrude. I had a request to go ahead and do this one, so I'm going to do it. Um, I actually just went through this motor and did a full tune up on it, replaced the recoil. It was all, recoil was missing, the carburetor was all gummed up, so I rebuilt the carburetor on it, replaced the impeller, changed the oil in the gear case, and replaced two, put new spark plugs in it. So I'm going to fire it up real quick and we'll go through the procedure on how I dial in the carburetors on these motors. So we'll go ahead and fire it up. Okay, first off, you've got your low speed fuel mixture right here. That goes in the needle here for the low speed fuel mixture needle. What I do is, with the engine at idle, you're going to want to dial that in until the engine basically runs its smoothest. These Johnson Evinards do like to have the fuel mixture a little bit on the rich side so they don't bog out and fall. So, I've got it right now, but what I'll do is I'll go ahead and richen it up and you'll see that the uh, motor will start to gallop and force stroke pretty heavily. So you can see the engine's starting to slow down pretty bad. So I'll go ahead and dial it back in until it starts to run smooth. Now this screw right here, also you got to have that adjusted properly in order you can actually open up the throttle with this screw here. And basically what it is is that there's a line here that you want to have that where that's starting to just open up as it's reaching that line and have that set up properly. Um, a lot of times what I'll do is that if you don't want to idle, you go ahead and screw that in. You go ahead and screw that in in order to go ahead and increase the speed on the idle a bit. Uh, and then you just dial in the carburetor in order to get it to run at its best. Uh, I really don't know what else really to say on these. They're pretty basic, pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, you got your one adjustment here, and you have your other adjustment here. And you just adjust them until the motor runs at its best. And you're going to want to have the motor basically where it can sit there and run in idle. Well, it runs good. Anyway, that'll do it for this one. Thank you for watching. Bye.